What up fellow humans of the interwebs, it's Nessa and once again this is Squared Circle Addicts. Now first of all before I start this video let me be 100% open and honest with you guys. This was not the video that I originally intended to make. Um, I originally was going to uh, go into detail of the Sasha Banks versus Ronda Rousey match at the Royal Rumble and I'm probably still going to do that in Friday's video because on Friday's video we will have NXT TakeOver predictions plus Royal Rumble predictions. So if you want to see that, be sure to turn on your notifications and hit the subscribe button. But for this video, I feel like it's something that I have to do. And if you read the title, you know what I'm going to talk about because trust me, it caught me super off guard and I was thinking, what the hell? Why is this even a thing? And as you can see by my shirt and in maybe previous other videos, I am a 100% Bailey Mark. And at this point, I sound like a broken record because I've said that a bunch of times. But this is why this video has to be made. So if you guessed it, if you guessed that we were going to talk about the fire Bailey hashtag, you guessed it correctly. Again, it's already in the video. Kind of gave it away there for you. But I want to talk about this because... First of all, I don't even know why this is a thing and why it happened and why it was trending. Literally two days ago, I left my phone alone. I come back and I see the hashtag and it's like trends for you, which pissed me off because it's like, why would that be a trend for me? That's rude. Um, but I essentially think the reason why it started happening is because Sasha Banks tweeted along the lines of, uh, the, the Revival versus Chad Gable and Bobby Roode is a must-see. And then I think it was uh, Dash who tweeted, Dash Wilder, who tweeted, um, we're one to watch anywhere we go. To which Sasha replied, take me with you. To which everyone started losing their minds because everybody knows that AEW is now a new thing. So whenever a wrestler mentions being unhappy or whatever the first thing people jump on is AEW for whatever reason and it's been clear on, on social media that the Revival have not been happy with the way the WWE is handling the tag team division and apparently there was rumors going around that they asked for their release so then when Sasha tweeted this tweet everybody was like oh maybe Sasha is going with them too or whatever and then Bailey tweeted the same exact tweet the one that says Bobby Roode and Chad Gable versus The Revival is a must-see. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, that's how the Fire Bailey hashtag came about. But, again, in this video, I might sound a little bit biased because, again, I am a, a Bailey fan at heart. I have been a Bailey fan since Bailey was Davina Rose back in big-time wrestling. I have followed her on the indie scene. I followed her to NXT all the way up to the main roster. And yes, granted, she hasn't always had the best storylines. In NXT, she was a force to be reckoned with. She had this sweet yet aggressive side to her. And we've seen that come out recently again in recent weeks, which I'm really happy about. Um, but of course, how can we forget the dreaded, awful, this is your life storyline that she did with Alexa Bliss? I feel like that was... Uh, her downfall, if you want to call it that. But my whole point is the Fire Bailey hashtag should not be a thing. Again, I get it. Everybody has, you know, different preferences, different types of wrestlers. But to me, um, telling Bailey or, or essentially saying that you want to fire Bailey because you're not happy with the fact that she might be in the tag team title picture or the fact that she's not feuding with Sasha Banks as opposed to teaming up with her or whatever it may be if you're tired of her colors if you're tired of her hugs I don't know but the fact of the matter is the fire Bailey hashtag should definitely not be a thing because I'm going to break the fourth wall here Pamela Martinez loves the WWE this is her life. This is this is everything that she's ever wanted and more since she was a little girl. And I'm not trying to say that, you know, she's the only woman on the roster that feels that way because we clearly know that that's, that's not true. We have Sasha Banks and we have, you know, Ruby Riot and we have Natalia and, and we have Shayna Baszler. We have a bunch of people that have wanted this for a really, really long time. But I feel that Bailey perso personifies going for something and reaching your dream as cheesy as that sounds and I think that's why she resonates so well with the children 
and women alike, and even even some dudes. I know there's dudes out there who love Bailey, so props to you guys because you guys see what she represents. And and for me to get a little bit of personal here, I have always felt that I am living vicariously through Bailey, just because ever since I was a a, a child, like five years old, I wanted to be a professional wrestler, and obviously. Uh, due to my physical disability, that that isn't something that's possible for me. It was never in the cards. But for whatever reason, is whenever I see Bailey wrestle, whenever I hear her music hit, I feel like I'm living the dream through her. And maybe that's because we have a, a lot of similarities. We have the same favorite band. We had the same favorite wrestlers growing up. I feel that if I was a wrestler, my style would mimic hers a lot. So again, maybe this video is a little bit biased, but it just makes me mad because it's like lately Bailey has been trying really really hard to rejuvenate her character she's gotten a bunch of wins um she's on a winning streak I think right now she's she's like the most winning superstar of the women's division and um I don't know like you know she kind of got screwed over in the in the in the mixed match challenge you know her partner was originally Finn Balor and then he got injured and then she you know uh, you know, got paired up with Apollo Crews, and there's nothing against Apollo because I love that dude. But, you know, and then she ended up losing the Mix Max Challenge. She got pinned by, I believe, Carmella. Last year, it was very much the same thing when she got pinned by Lana. Again, she didn't even really make it that far. But I think the reason why they made her lose the Mix Max Challenge, it's not only because of Finn Balor's sudden injury, but I think this year they want to make her the Iron Woman of the Royal Rumble match. Again, I might be wrong, but that's just speculation because she's been working a lot on her cardio and her weightlifting, and I'm just I'm just thinking that's where they're going, and hopefully they are. And whether or not she wins the women's tag titles with Sasha Banks is yet to be seen. For me, what I personally would do is have them win it and then have one of them betray the other one to cost them the tag titles, maybe to the Riot Squad. That's what I would do because, again... I, I stand where a lot of people stand. Like, it, it's nothing against Bailey and Sasha being tag partners because I love them and I know that they're best friends in real life, but I just think they work better as heels. Not as heels, but as opponents, I should say. But we'll see. But again, that's not the point of this video. The point is, she's been working her ass off so hard to try to change things and try to get things going. In fact, her and Sasha were the ones campaigning for the women's tag titles. And here we are. Now we have them. So I feel like, you know... They're a lot to thank for that. And I don't know, to me, Bailey's had some of the best matches I've ever watched. Of course, you can't not mention the match between her and Sasha Banks at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. You can't forget to, to mention the TakeOver Respect match with Bailey and Sasha the second time, the Iron Man match. You can't forget to mention the uh, Fatal 4-Way that they had at Unstoppable, where it was, uh, you know, Bailey versus Sasha versus Becky versus... That I actually it was a triple threat, right? Bailey versus Sasha versus Charlotte versus Becky. No, it was a fatal four way. I don't even think Bailey was in that match. Scratch that. She wasn't even in that match. But she's had great matches against Ruby Riot at Fastlane. She's had great matches against Charlotte. Every time that Bailey's in the ring, whether you like her or not, you know that you're in for a treat. She's been, you know, uh, changing up her arsenal with with uh, moves. She has that flying knee now. She has that like flying thing uh, between the two middle ropes. Of course, she uses her elbow drop to Bailey to belly. I know a lot of people say that needs to go away, but whatever, that's that's for argument's sake. My whole point is I cannot see why anybody in their right mind would want a woman like Bailey, Pamela Martinez, whatever you want to call her, to be fired from the WWE because she is one of those people that personifies what we all are. Like, we are all true blue wrestling fans. Whether or not you're as big um, with the WWE that I am or how other people may be, the fact of the matter is we all still watch the WWE. Don't lie to me and say you don't because I know that sometimes the WWE may piss you off and you may not want to watch what they're doing, but there's always one reason why you go back. And for the longest time, my one reason was Bailey. And I'm not saying she's still my one reason because now we have the four horsewomen, Shayna Baszler, uh, Jessamyn Duke, Ronda Rousey, Marina Shafir. That's one of my reasons. Another one of my reasons is Rhea Ripley, the Riot Squad. I can go on and on and on. Bailey isn't my only reason anymore. And of course, Becky Lynch, the man. How can I not say that? But Bailey is my main reason. 
Bailey is, is one of the, the reasons why I started watching it again in 2012. Because for a long time, I wasn't, I wasn't watching anything. I was just tired and fed up. And she brought me back. And honestly, like, if she did leave the WWE, WWE for AEW, because that's the general consensus of everybody these days. If she did do that, guess where I would be going? I would be going and watching AEW, because that's the thing about me. I love my people. I am loyal to my people. I don't care if they're in the WWE. I don't care if they're in Impact Wrestling. I don't care if they're in AEW. I don't care if they're in ROH. If I like you, I am going to follow you. So, for whatever reason, if this hashtag blows up and people listen, if the higher the higher ups that listen, which I doubt, but if that ever did happen, then I leave too. I don't leave WWE completely because of course I'll come back for my other reasons. But wherever Bailey goes, I go. And I, I definitely think that WWE, if they did see this hashtag, they're probably laughing because guess what? Bailey has been one of the highest grossing merch sellers. She gets a reaction every time you go out there. I, I don't understand why this is a thing. I don't know if it's because people are, you know, fed up with Sasha always being the one of the two to get the opportunities or if they're not, you know, happy with the direction that Bailey's character is going. But again, to use the word or the hashtag fire Bailey is just a bit too much. Again, that's just like saying every like that's pretty much like saying, oh, oh fire John Cena. That's what it feels like to me. And I get that some people may have that that feeling because they're tired of him or whatever, but Bailey is such a positive influence on so many people and, and she's done so many great things for this company that firing her would be just a slap in the face. And I think that anybody who got behind this hashtag is absolutely 100% ridiculous. And if, if you were behind that hashtag and you were watching this video, I am so sorry to you, but also not sorry because it's like, what are you doing? Why would you want one of the best workers, hardest workers in the company to be fired. To me, that is just plain wrong. So I think what we should do, and I think someone else tried to do this on Twitter, but I'm gonna jump on the wagon, not the wagon, but I'm gonna jump on this here and, and try to get it out there. If you love Bailey as much as I do, if you think she deserves to, to have a better spot, whether that's women tag titles or to be in the main title picture, or to feud with Sasha, or whatever you want her to do. If you love the hugger, if you are a part of the hugger section, do me a favor and use the hashtag hey, we want some Bailey to overthrow the fire Bailey hashtags. Because again, this shouldn't be a thing. It really shouldn't. At the end of the day, yes, we all have our opinions, but firing her would be like firing one of the top superstars of the company, which would essentially hurt the WWE, which maybe that's what you guys are trying to do. I don't know. But I just don't get it, and for whatever reason, if the, you know, the magic of the internet works and Bailey, you somehow stumble upon this video, I just want to tell you thank you for making me fall in love with wrestling all over again. Thank you for giving me something to smile about. You know, I, I was lucky enough to see Bailey this past December when I went to Raw San Diego with my friend Polly. Polly, if you're watching this, shout out to you. You made a bucket list dream come true, my dude. I got to see Bailey wrestle, and it was the greatest thing ever, and... I will take as many opportunities as I can to get that again. My biggest goal for me is to meet Bailey. Hopefully that happens. I had a dream that it happened, and apparently I was 28 when it happened. So that'll be by next October. Hopefully we'll see. But again, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys tired of Bailey's, you know, storyline direction? Do you think it needs a drastic change? Do you think that the fire Bailey hashtags were justified, or are you like me and are you really angry? Sound off, please, and if you're like me, and if you're a part of the hugger section, if you love the hugger, please get that hashtag, hey, we want some Bailey trending. It would be awesome, because I think, I think she deserves to know that while the vast majority may have gotten sick of her, that there are people out there that are still loyal to the hugger, and that one great thing for her. Hopefully, that's tag team titles in the future. I know in my previous video I said I don't want them as the inaugural champions. I still stand by that, but I would love to see... Bailey have something more substantial, more important, possibly even feuding with Ronda Rousey. I don't know, who knows? Or maybe even Becky Lynch, because I feel like by the time the Royal Rumble's over, Becky Lynch might be Raw Women's Champion. That's just me, I don't know. But either way, I, I want something more substantial for Bailey, something more important. So let me got let me know what you guys think. 
Am I crazy? Am I just a Bailey diehard and am I too blinded by that? D like I said, are they justified? Are they not? Let me know. Um, and until next time, I will see you guys on Friday again with NXT TakeOver predictions as well as Royal Rumble predictions. But in the meantime, if you feel like listening to me rant about all things professional wrestling, be sure to follow me at GreatLove91 on Twitter. That's both for Instagram and Twitter. And yeah, until next time, take care, stay safe, stay happy, but most importantly, stay addicted to the squared circle. Later, guys.